Hello and welcome to Da News. Today is August 17, 2014. It appears that our beloved Mr. Mondo is in the hospital due to an arson fire. It seems that his enemies really wanted him gone, reports indicate it was his arch nemesis Ms. Psycho. Police have yet brought this violent twat to justice and other reports say she is still on the run. That wanker, oh. I hear we have live feed from the hospital. Brace yourselves viewers, for Mr. Mondo is disfigured because his structure was changed due to his supercomputer exploding on him, switching to live feed now. Dr. Cold Spell, how is he doing? He's not doing so well, I am afraid. His highly sophisticated supercomputer's explosion left him with mangled DNA. His dark hair fell out and was replaced with new yellow hair. His body and face have also changed. He has to deal with all these changes along with his high degree burns. It could be worse, I suppose, but all this DNA changing is really taxing on me. I am just glad that I survived and no one else was hurt. Mr. Mondo, I think your voice just changed. I guess it just did. Oh great, now what will I do? It's like I am a completely different person now. What will happen to my show without my awesome voice that I used to have? This voice that I have now isn't witty enough for me. Cut the feed. It's far too sad, huh? What? It's reported that he wants to still try his show, dot right now? Are you serious? Okay, let's run air his show right now then. Hello and welcome to, The Mr. Mondo Show. Fuck it, I don't know if I can do this. People hate me already. I can't be as charismatic as I want to, being this worn out. Well, anyway, we have a guest today, I think. I don't even remember since I'm so out of it right now. Oh. Oh yeah, here is the guest. Hello and welcome to the Mr. Mondo Show. Ouch, next time I got to remember to skip on the handshaking, well, anyways, this here is the dude that helped me program my supercomputer. His name is Mr. Fernando. I still have the backup luckily, so I can just install it when I build another supercomputer. Indeed. I am glad that you managed to find the backup in such a crazy fire like that. Yeah. You can say that having a supercomputer is super important to me, haha. Ha. Shut up audience just shut up, the nerf. I am trying to do a show here. Keyword. Trying. Like my damnest. You try being like this and do a show, I dare you. I'm so tired I'll just let you explain the supercomputers program Mr. Fernando. My pleasure. Well, you see. It was pretty easy since I am the biggest genius in all of Mexico. I just combined all my previous programs and artificial intelligence into one beastly setup. I figured such an amazing machine such as yours could easily use and process even my complex programs. Also, just even you having a creation such as my awesome all-in-one program could boost the popularity of Fernando Industries to the next level of total world domination. Imagine everyone using my program. I would be way too rich and influential, I would be bigger than Hayes use. Not if I can help it, you scumbag. Hey Frento, I was just joking. I thought it was obvious. I'm very sorry. I'm just so tired and on some pretty heavy medication so much so that I didn't even realize how obvious it was just a joke that everyone should get. With that said, I think we are done here. I'll try to run next show when I am more prepared. This has been Mr. Mondo. Have a nice day. Ouch. <laughs>